What's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Scatty back with some more street content. Again, you guys could tell I'm in San Clemente, California. We're here again at South OC Cars and Coffee. On this end, I'll be real with you guys, there's a lot of a lot of regular parking. A lot of regular parking, so we're gonna make our way down that way. We got here super, super early this time, so we're gonna be able to see a whole lot more cars. But the intro is gonna be quick, right to it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and leave me a comment, leave me a like, and don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna get into it now, all right, y'all? Crazy. GT500 builds right here. Man, we got a Predator build right here. And then we got a Venom build right here. Damn. These are super unique. I'm gonna replace it either. Looks like the car, oh, this is the carbon pack. Look, it's got the carbon fiber wheel specs right here. I'll give them a follow, man. 5.2 Venom. Damn, this is a sick design, bro. I love the GT500s, man. I love the back diffuser, how it all looks. Beautiful. And I've seen this dude on Instagram before. This is super loud. I'll give him a follow. Let's check out this 350 on this side. Damn. These are beauties, guys. These are bad. Damn. I'm gonna put that right there because I'm definitely gonna shoot a DM for a video. Look at the interior, y'all. Damn, this is so clean. This McLaren right here, this 600 LT is probably gonna be my favorite just because of the color. I'm glad the windows are down so we can check out the interior. Interior is pretty nice. More basic interior on the McLarens in my opinion, but super, super sleek looking cars. R8 over here, V10, 5.2 liter. Oh man, we got a bull over here chilling. First bull of the show, first bull right here. Crazy ZR1 builds, got a whole list. Oh look, there we got some more Lambos over here. I didn't see them. Dang, this is crazy. With the bait I know, with the car seat in the front. That is so sick. These ones? Looks like they just have a cover over them. I like the wrap. The wrap is sick too. It's nice. Nice build on this Porsche right here. Now this Audi Sport right here is clean. I love the wrap on it. Sitting next to a bull. Sick, sick. Looks like a Gallardo or Murciliago. This right here though, y'all, check it out. Man, saline right here. Awesome wrap. The wrap alone is what caught my eye and then I realized it was a saline. And I was like, oh, I gotta come take a look at that. All right, y'all, as soon as you get around right here, check this out. For the first time on the channel, guys, I have never seen one in person, but this is a Lamborghini Diablo. Not really too sure what year it is. Might be a 01 but sick, sick build. Get you guys the wheels. The wheels alone stand out so, so good. Big body on the back. It's got the yellow interior. You guys don't want to get too close, but beautiful, beautiful car. Another first for the channel, uh, possibly 69, 71, around those years. I'm not going to be too exact, I'm sure, but a Charger RT. And then it's in the black too, man. This looks so sick. Glad I finally got to get one on the channel too and seen one in person. This is probably like my fifth one I've seen. Damn, what we got over here? Make a guess. Oh, it's a GTR. It was a GTR. I was gonna tell you to guess and then I was like, wait, no, it's a GTR. And there's one there and then there's one right here. I'll get, I'll probably, I'll probably get him going by right here. Right into the third GT500 at the show. Man, this one's sick. Again, love the grill on these, man. The snake in the middle. Shelby at the bottom. Is this the carbon pack? Yeah. It is the carbon pack. It's got the carbon fiber wheels. Sheesh. Oh, and the mirrors. Yeah, that's right. And the wing is carbon fiber as well. Let's go get that wing. Sheesh. Look at that, guys. So beautiful. From what it looks like, more Lambos, you know, Ferraris, McLaren. A lot of the cooler cars are here from the last show. Oh, look at that bi turbo. That's fresh. That Mercedes by Turbo is so clean, but a lot of cars are gonna start heading out right now, so I'm gonna head to the entrance slash exit, and we're gonna get all the flybys going out, all right? Lambo's opened up their doors, y'all. Let's see if we can get a close look without bothering anybody. Oh, man. Oh, I think they're heading out. Jesus.
again y'all we have a 2001 possibly Diablo VT Lamborghini now I'm thinking a Gallardo or Murcielago over there I'm not too sure let me know in the comments though if I'm right or wrong both amazing builds though try to get this exhaust clip for y'all lizard green on our channel before crazy build these things are beast when they're tuned up nice that's OG it's got the wild wood brakes at the bottom good brakes right there probably halfway through it so there's still some clean cars here that haven't left so we're still gonna get some more uh, flybys or you know walk bys and all that but so far, some of the good ones have left. The Diablo left. I think there was two Diablos here. Um, I thought they were Count Talks. Like I said, I'm not really too knowledgeable on the Lambos, but let me know in the comments because I know those. Where's the other one? Where? Damn, I know that one's a build too. And they, they have really strict rules here, everybody. So, like, they have, a, they have lots of signs posted no revving, no. Um, no burnout, none of that bad stuff. And I'm a fan of that. I like that because that's what kills all these shows. And for this to be held every single Saturday, it's good that people are abiding by the rules. That's why we're not in our hometown where no one listens to anything, which is why I don't like going to the shows back at home, you know? But guys, we still got some cars that are going to leave soon. So you guys stay tuned. Crazy BMW right behind me. That's a nice one. Oh, look, there's another ZR1 right there. Right behind that Audi R8 and the sick yellow. Man, y'all stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. ZR1 over here chilling, awesome Porsche, another Shelby GT350, awesome build, awesome car. GT350 at the end right there too. Pretty cool lineup right here. I've always been a fan of these Lotuses because they're just such, such unique builds. And they're super quick. I actually raced one in my buddy's 350 and it was pretty even, but for this to keep up was pretty insane. Ooh. There you go, there you go. Sick. I love the color scheme on that the yellow with the orange on the Porsche. That's nice But y'all before anything before we go on I want you guys to tell me what you think of this front lip on this 2021 Supra I think right 2021 anyways, let me know what you guys think of that front lip. It caught my eye immediately It's got the the louvers on this side and then it kind of op opens up right here. That's unique Another quick build. I wanted you guys to give me your opinion on of course beautiful Lambo uh, could be a Murcielago or Gallardo. Again, let me know. But the air ducts back here, guys. Look how huge the air ducts are. Get you guys a good view from the front. Just like the front splitter on the Supra, it caught my eye immediately. And I was like, that's that's definitely different. Oh, look, it's even got some down here. I mean, I understand the aerodynamic aspect, but these are huge. Oh, the concave wheels back here. Beautiful. I would love to do that on the Scat Pack, actually. Just on the back, though. On the front, he has the regular ones. That's sick. Yo, guys, give me some knowledge right here. Let me know. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, these. This is crazy. 
Oh yeah, see an old school RX-7 right here. These are sick. It's crazy lineup right here, guys. Crazy. I think it's a Chevelle SS is what I'm thinking from, from what I know, from what I've seen. Yeah, Chevy SS, beautiful, sounds insane. Crazy GTO right here. I love the blue with the with the green stripe. Reminds me of the Seahawks. Oh yeah, that's a 427 inside there. That's crazy. Oh yeah, this Audi right here. I love the black on black with any Audi. It just looks so good. That's nice. Oh, it's got some exhaust to it too. Ferrari right here, heading out from the show. Oh, look at this Supra, guys. That's, oh, I love that. Man, if only he can give us a two-step right now, man. Jeez. Yeah, I love that. Awesome build. Awesome build. No problem, no problem. Love that. Love that. All right, guys, I think this is the last GT500 to leave the lot. Love that blue on there. The, the, the carbon pack, that's awesome. The GT500 alone just looks so menacing. The wing, all carbon fiber, the wheels, the mirrors. I love that. Exhaust, always sounding good out the manufacturer for Ford. Awesome build. Awesome. I'm lucky enough to get the Charger RT on rolling out right here. Again, it could be a 69, 71, around there. Awesome, awesome. Crazy, I love that. This could be the original paint. I'm hoping that's the original paint. <laughs> nice BMW right here. Dang, this SS is just sounds angry right now. Listen to that. Oh man, jeez. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Right here, guys. Man, the JDM boys. Awesome, awesome. Sweet build, sweet build. Nice. Ooh, a Sylvia. I've only seen one in my town. One of my buddies had it before selling it. Crazy, crazy build. Awesome BMW right here. Got an STI. That M3 sounds nice. Got a Plymouth, looks like a duster. Or I could be wrong. Three, oh, it's a Roadrunner. I love that color. That is crazy. So we're moving away from all the crazy noise over there, from all the people driving by and, you know, me getting some content for y'all, but. I think we're pretty much done with all the crazy loud cars that are gonna be leaving. A lot of people, they already opened up the entrance for you know regular customers to come in and parking, to come in and start parking. A lot is kind of going empty now. Wait, where are we going? Park down the stairs. Oh, damn, that's right. Do the intro, we'll go, well, outro, we'll go check it out. But yeah, guys, this time we got here early, so we actually got to see some pretty badass cars. Uh, I saw my first, uh, uh, Diablo Lamborghini and I think there was two of them so I got to see two of them um, what else did I see oh I got to see a Plymouth Roadrunner I'm a huge Mopar Dodge fan so that was pretty cool to see that um, a lot of old school cars that were actually in their original colors and original paint which was actually really really unique for me because you guys know if you guys have been on the channel for a while I used to own a 1968 and it didn't have the original paint just had the original motor the original black and yellow license plate which is pretty cool but all of that stuff guys it was a pretty pretty good show in my opinion i mean i honestly am so glad that we came here early this time and we didn't just see like a regular traffic lineup you know oh look the venom gt500 is still here that's sick that's awesome but yeah guys we're gonna probably head back to the car now this is just show number one this is part one of the trip that i'm taking back here to set to san diego because last time guys i'm just gonna put you in a little bit of game i i had someone to cover me at work and i'm five hours away from my hometown where i do work and my boss told me no you have to come in so a hustler is a hustler man so i went ahead and hit five hours right when we got done here i hit five hours back home 
and knocked out my shift. So, oh, babe, we, we could even just walk down here. You wanna just walk down there or take the stairs? Let's just walk. See, I wish I can go out there and get the flybys, but I know if they're having strict rules in here, they're gonna have some police out there probably waiting for, for these cars that are gonna be a little silly, but I'm glad we got to get what we got. If you guys haven't yet, please go put a comment, leave a like. Uh, I hope subscribe. you guys, please subscribe. <laughs> yes, we are at almost 27,000 and then we're gonna get hit 30. Guys, I'm nothing but blessed for all of that, man. Like I said, this is just show number one of the little trip that I got going right now. You no, know, tomorrow it's gonna be some heat, just like we saw here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments and please, please don't leave without subscribing. I'll see you guys next time, all right? Much love.